what was the point of this? Just destroy the weapons facility? Okay, there's definitely at least five levels, because there's five difficulty pips. I am curious if there's only five, or if it goes up to six. I could see them, like, having either two five tiers, or even having, like, a hidden six pip for style points. Oh, this is already really hard. This is very Mega Man X. Reminds me of the highway stage a bit. I'm not used to being able to move this quickly, by the way. It's a bit of getting used to. Oh, this... Oh, okay! <laughs> Speaking of Mega Man X... Okay, it's very intentional. <laughs> it is very intentional. What am I supposed to be hit? Oh, I need to hit that. I couldn't quite tell what part of this thing I still need to be blown up. Come on, open up the floor. You know you want to do it. Nope. Okay. It did not destroy the floor. It's not a true Mega Man X highway level. Oh man, I'm just gonna do some of that, okay. I noticed it happening a second too late. Um, no, I never did finish shooting Star 7. I'd like to at some point. I could not make out what he said. Oh! Yeah, of course, the clone one has a melee attack, too. Okay, and it's melee attack. Kive outclass is my melee attack. I need to learn to go prone. Yeah, I can't make that. That's way too distorted. No, the helicopter guy was a human. I think our helicopter friend just died or something. Or they'll come back for the finale, who knows. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I am very worried about them giving me a defense drone just for free, no strings attached, no way you can miss it. <laughs> oh. I'm not making it through this area because I had zero lives going in, but let's see how far I can get. Oh, this is another mini boss? Oh. You are very familiar looking. Reminds me I can't remember if this reminds me of anything from um Contra. Kinda of reminds me of that one boss from Cave Story, is the first thing that comes to mind. I think like Monster X or something its name was. I think there's also a boss in Contra that was that looked like that. Another defense drone. Wow, they're just handing these things out. I got one up. I don't really want grenades. This is a um super C type of area. It also reminds me of um a similar area in um Super Cyborg. I don't know why I took that. Speed is cool and all, but I would like to not die. Oh, goodbye defense drone, you saved me from a hit. And this is kinda what I was expecting would happen. I like this thing's boss music. It's very kind of chill and ominous. Ow. Okay. May as well use my special weapons. Okay, I died to that. Considering I went into all of that with zero lives, I feel like that was a relatively okay run. Come on. Defense drone, please. Got it. Let's try and not immediately 
Never mind, I was going to say, not immediately waste one of them, and nope. We it pretty much the same way, except I think this is the one that took it down last time. Oh, and it's gone already, even faster than it went last time. I guess I can get the speed drum now. Okay, I kind of forget how this thing even fights, because it this phase does not last very long. Okay. It's pretty much just... Bullets going in a kind of nasty pattern. Oh man, I need to roll a bit more because the scrolling screen does mean that I don't actually cover as much like screen distance. Okay, got an attack drone. I'll take it for two seconds at last before I die. I was worried that this might have despawned, but did not, so I'm happy about that. It seems to be the golden rule that the better I do, or like the more lives I have going into something, the worse I play. I'm not trying to play worse, I just am. I'm not trying to be sloppy or anything. Oh, come on. Okay, now it does the spread attack. Oh, I forgot that there were two waves of it. Now it does that. And this is about where I died last time. I think that it just leaps through these three attacks, if I had to guess. Yeah, that seems to be exactly what it does. Next is going to be kind of fast missiles. Oh no. Not sure if that's appearing on stream, but malware bites just popped up telling me my premium trial expires in three days. I need to make that go away. Malware bites, I don't care. Go away. <laughs> okay. Well. Anyway, resuming. Oh no, this looks bad. Oh, are we are we boarding one. We are. Oh my god. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Gotta have at least one weird perspective thing for it to be a true Contra game, right? Oh, this is bizarre. Can I fly into the walls? I don't think I can, which is good to know. Let me, let me double check that. Okay, no, I cannot fly into the walls. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> Got some bugs. Oh, that was a power up. This is neat. I like this. I would not want this to be a large part of the game, but as like a kind of one off thing, this is really cool. What is that? Okay, it's electricity. I've played Flash games. I'm not good at them, but I've played them. Um, it could be a sin punishment to reference. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of games where you're going down the tunnel with like things like that. Like, like I said, there's like alien Flash games that play just like that. Um, yeah. I could see it being Sin Punishment 2. Man, I haven't played that game in a long time. Sin Punishment 2 rocks. It's another game I'm very bad at, but boy do I love Sin Punishment 2. Let's see, I think that the pattern's the same every time. So, oh, yeah, it seems to be the same pattern. Okay, I have double attack. Oh, okay. So, say lock on for this. Okay, I have maximum firepower now. So lock on for this lets me still move, but locks this into place. These missiles seem kind of less than great against the wall turrets since 
they kind of already get their shot in by the time the missile goes off, but it's a thought that counts, I guess. I think I missed that bullet upgrade. I'm apparently at maximum firepower anyway, but I wonder if it would have given me points or one up or something in place of a bullet. It seems to be going for a predictable pattern, which makes me worried that's going to deliberately try and trip me up. No, it didn't. Okay. Oh man, oh man, yep. There goes one of my upgrades. I think that was lock off missiles. Or homing missiles or whatever. Okay, more of these. I think that we're getting to the end of it. This seems very finale-ish. I wonder if there's gonna be mini boss. There probably will be. Oh, you kind of look like a mini-boss. Okay. This thing's a mini-boss of sorts, I suppose. And I apparently died there. Must have hit me just as I killed it. Is the boss of this whole level going to be in this tunnel? Weird. I don't know what this one gun on the right does yet, but looks like the worst one, honestly. Yep, and it's what killed me. I'm gonna just focus on that. That attack's not bad. Okay, that awful gun's gone. Guess it's just gonna keep doing this. Oh, no. Oh. Is there a way for me to, like, dodge roll or anything? Oh, I do have a dodge roll. Okay. Well, that certainly makes life a bit easier. And now I'm dying to this like crazy. Yeah, this section's cool, but I kind of would like to beat this boss because I don't know if I really want to redo that whole section. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. Okay, it's dead. Oh, this, like, death scream it has going on is from something. Cannot remember what. Okay, that's level 4 of Blazing Chrome. So far, level 3 is the one that gave me the most trouble, and really only the final bit of level 3. Not to say that the game's been easy, because it hasn't been. 